speech surgery, pharyngoplasty. The soft palate, also known as the velum, separates the cavity of the nose from the cavity of the mouth. During normal speech and swallowing, the soft palate forms a tight seal with the pharyngeal walls, which are the muscles at the side and back of the throat. Air from the lungs passes out of the mouth, and air is prevented from passing through the nose. For some children, a tight seal does not form between the soft palate and the pharyngeal walls. The soft palate and the pharyngeal walls may not function properly, or the soft palate may be too short in length. This leaves an open space between the cavity of the nose and the cavity of the mouth. This is called velopharyngeal insufficiency, or VPI. This open space means that air can pass out through the nose. This can lead to abnormal speech. Food and or fluid can also rise up and pass through the nose after swallowing. There are various treatments for children with velopharyngeal insufficiency. Some surgical procedures can be performed to narrow the opening of the throat in order to reduce the amount of air leakage through the nose. There are different ways of doing this, but together these types of surgical procedures are known as pharyngoplasty procedures. In one common pharyngoplasty procedure, a flap is created from the back pharyngeal wall. Then it is connected to the soft palate using surgical threads called sutures. This narrows the opening of the throat and decreases the amount of air that is able to travel out through the nose. In another common pharyngoplasty procedure, flaps are created from both side pharyngeal walls at the side of the throat. Then they are brought to the centre of the throat and connected using sutures. This also narrows the opening of the throat and helps to decrease the amount of airflow through the nose. However, after all pharyngoplasty procedures, Snoring and difficulties breathing during sleep can occur if the throat has become too narrow. After surgery, fluids and soft foods are recommended for approximately three weeks. The child should not put hard objects such as straws or their hands into their mouth. Speech therapy is always needed to help the child with their speech and swallowing.